Well, we've made it to game 162 of the Detroit Tigers 2022 season. I've watched probably upwards of 100 games of this horrible, disappointing, underperforming, and overpaid baseball team. And I surprisingly don't regret it. If you ask me... A few weeks ago, or more like a month ago, if, I, if I'm if proud of that, I would have said no. But now that I think about it, now that I give it some thought, I, I'm glad that I endured that season. I'm glad that our team endured that season. Well, this game that we just played got walked off on. I, I think it summarizes the, the season pretty perfectly. Started off slow, really bad. Then we're middling for, you know, most of the year. Make a little bit of a resurgence once some changes are made at the end. And then, you know, we're eliminated so it doesn't matter in the first place and the game's over. The season's over. But something that I think can give us a little bit of peace of mind going into next year. Give us a little bit of hope. Scott Harris, just his presence, has injected something into this team. Because we, as soon as he was hired, we started just winning games. So I think with him and whoever he brings on board as his general manager with him as president of baseball operations and whoever he brings aboard with as, as general manager I think that they will build a winning baseball team whether that's next year or in five years I think they will build a playoff baseball team potentially a championship baseball team another reason I'm glad that this season happened we have some young guys on this team now Spencer Torkelson and Riley Green they got their rookie years out of the way now. Rookie years, you know, rookies, they usually don't hit a bunch of home runs, even if they're power hitters, like Spencer Torkelson. Usually their batting averages are low because, again, like, it's their first time in Major League Baseball. It's a whole different animal. You would much rather them want to have that kind of wasted year, uh, per se, in this situation now than when we're trying to contend. So next year, Riley Green and Spencer Torkelson will be able to come back. Less Riley Green and more Spencer Torkelson will be able to come back more developed and have a way better year power numbers-wise and batting average-wise. Riley Green, he was fine. He, he's been around 240, 250, not the best, but for a rookie, pretty good. Especially a rookie who's called up in the middle of the year. Spencer Torkelson, he got sent down after playing most of the season and having his spot guaranteed. He underperformed and got sent down. He got called back up, and I think he's done He's done somewhat better. I think he's improved a decent amount since being sent down. And I think next year, I mean, he hit eight home runs this year. I think next year we're definitely going to see double-digit home runs, hopefully. Um, and I think Akil Badu will do better next year. I'm just hoping that some of these young guys, they're, they're working through the kinks now, and it'll help us a lot more later. What, what I would like to see and what I've hoped for next year is that we are a winning team. I would like to see us sign guys in the offseason, spend some money. I know it didn't work this time, but we were just so unlucky. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's spend a bunch of money on guys who can hit. I don't care about defense. Let's get guys who can mash. Let's get guys with high batting average, high power numbers, I know it's medieval baseball thinking. Analytics nerds are going to hate me for it. But plain and simple, point blank, that's the first step to getting this team better, is to getting their offense better. So let's go out and let's sign some guys who can hit. And I have confidence that Scott Harris will be able to find those guys. Because he, he was able to do, it, do that in San Francisco. When they made the playoffs, um, you know, they were good. Not this year, but when he was there for a little bit, he, he built them up, made them pretty good. I think he knew that with the Tigers. Kind of sad the season is over. I'm going to miss baseball, but I'm glad that this offseason will be able to make changes.
Hopefully Austin Meadows can come back next year. Play a full season. Hopefully some rookies will come along and be good. Hopefully we'll sign some guys. And playing out, hopefully we just aren't so unlucky. <laughs> See you guys next time. And baseball, gonna miss you, but we'll do this, uh, do this dance again in late March of 2023. Where the Tigers will be something. They'll be something. See you guys next time.